Hey everybody and welcome back to Wobbly Life! Today we're going to finish up our deep dive into the .7.5 update by showing you a few of the other things that you might not have seen yet. We're going to jump right in with one of my absolute favorites. Yep, you might be seeing them behind me. And that is the baby sea turtles that have been added to the Paradise Island Beach. Every night, these guys come out just after midnight, and they make their way down to the water. And they are absolutely adorable. Hey, guys. Yeah. Go be free. It's, you know, that you can't interact with them. There's really nothing to it, but it just brings the world to life in such a fun way. And I really, really love this. And that got me thinking about what else I might not have seen in the update, so I went back to the patch notes. We've covered a lot of the major additions already. The Ancient Trials, the Fishing Mission, the Disco, and of course, um, the pets. But some of the other things you may have overlooked are that your wobblies now blink. Yeah, just like that. And they've added garages all around the island. And these are pretty cool. I mean, you can interact with them. Maybe try and lock your friend in them if you're feeling particularly mischievous. Another one of the things I noticed in the patch notes was a line that said, added some mini games in the jungle. And I wasn't sure what this meant. So I went on a search through the jungle island. And right near the temple, I found that they had added a giant tic-tac-toe board. Which is kinda neat. So if you're playing co-op with your kid, you know, this, this could be kinda fun. I mean, we all know tic-tac-toe is, is not the most exciting game in the world, but still, it's, it's kind of a neat addition, just like the uh, chessboard over on Mansion Island. Now, winning or losing doesn't get you anything, but it's still a load of fun, and it just looks really cool. And right down the path from it... ...is another little mini-game. And that, if you push the button here... ...is Wobbly Life's version of Connect 4. Ah, so it alternates between yellow and red. And it too is just... It's a little something that the developers threw in that they didn't need to. That's just kind of cool. It's, it's a lot of fun. And I appreciate those little touches. You can hit the button here to reset it. And I don't know if you've seen this yet, but it definitely is worth flying over to the jungle island and uh, checking it out. You can have a little fun for a few minutes. From there, I decided to head back to the main island to go see what they meant by rubber band games are hard at work in the office. What? Um, okay. Yeah, we'll just leave that there. Yep. So I stopped by the office to say hi to everybody. And it's, it's true. Um, they are now hard at work in the office, bringing you updates. Oh, that's kind of neat. Um, ah, blocks. Interesting. Oh, this must be where they do the music. Really cool. It's, it's one of those things that it doesn't add anything to the playing of the game, but it definitely helps flesh out the environment and is, is a little treat for the fans who have been with the game since the beginning. And I was also quite surprised to see for the first time that I can remember there are no secrets about the upcoming update on the back of the whiteboard. So that, that was very surprising. So I looked around and, uh, yeah, I couldn't find any, uh, any secrets about what's coming next, but 
Considering what these guys have done so far, I cannot wait to see what they do next. Anyway, because we are here at Rubber Band Games and the patch notes say they've also updated the burger o -Matic mission, which is right across the street, I thought I'd run over and see what that actually meant. This mission has never been one that has come particularly easy for me. It was quickly apparent that one of the things they added was this slide here. And that's because a lot of food would fall off of the conveyor belt when you were trying to assemble the burger. Now, you can almost just fling things onto the conveyor belt and that slide will keep them from falling off for the most part. Um, yeah, all right, let's see. And if we push the button, yeah, everything kind of just glides right in. Nothing gets hung up. Okay, so it is a little easier. Yay, I made a part. Oh, um, 10 second roll. All right. So yeah, that, that's the only real change to the burger mission, and I am still terrible at it. But it does definitely ease a little bit of the um, accidental food falling off the conveyor belt, which used to drive me crazy. As far as clothing, almost everything is unlocked during missions, other than the toaster hat, which you can see right down there. We showed you that in one of the other episodes. And also the added sweatpants, those are both available on Paradise Island at the clothing store. And there is also the new spaghetti hat, which is um, you can find at the mall or at the clothing store downtown. The patch notes also said they added more NPCs to the game. And while I was walking around the beach, I noticed this guy up on the balcony up there. So I decided to go up and say hi to him. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Nice to meet. Oh, well, that's rude. Huh, fine. Oh, ow. Now, he's not always there, but that got me thinking about other NPCs that you see scattered around the town. And so I decided to go on a quest to see who I could meet. Which also gave me the opportunity to try out some of the new boats. They've added, uh, besides the fishing boat, they've added speed boats, tug boats, which have these really cool rooms. You've got your uh, spyglass and your maps. They've got a little bathroom and a galley in here. Really, uh, they've, done, they've done a really nice job with different types of boats. They've got these uh, wonderful sailboats here, which again, they all have these uh, detailed interiors you can get into. And they all handle differently, which is um, kind of neat. Um, ooh, this is nice. But it was while I was driving around the island looking for NPCs that I made this discovery. And while this is probably a glitch, um, I was able to do it several times this day, but uh, it since seems to have stopped working. But at least for one glorious day, you were able to drive the motorcycle underwater without the motorcycle exploding or you drowning. And that was pretty cool. So I immediately drove over to the new coral reef which is something I had been dying to do since the update came out. 
And yes, you can very much drive around and see what the coral reef looks like. I mean, it's a little little blurry because you're underwater, and I guess you don't have goggles on. But uh, it at least gives you an, uh, a way to see all the work that went into developing this. And it's really cool. And until they give us a scuba mission or some other way to get around underwater, at least this footage exists so you can see what is going on in the waters underneath the wobbly world. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode of Wobbly Life. If you're enjoying the series, please hit that like button to let us know, and we'll make sure to bring you some more. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. It really helps us to grow our channel. And we will be back soon with many more episodes for you guys. Thanks for watching.